III with another Call of Duty Zombies video. Today I have the ultimate guide to going high rounds on the zombie map Blood of the Dead. This guide will go over an insane camping spot that can get you into the 70s and beyond as well as the best places to train on the map. It will also include a detailed portion on setup. I hope it helps out. If you're going to be camping, I suggest avoiding moving the box spamming it for certain weapons. This will prevent you from getting fire sales which will speed up rounds and take you farther before having to train. I like to just keep my welling for insta kills and get the free blunder gat with the hell's retriever. Then I get monkeys using the special weapon easter egg and grab the golden sport to dispatch of dogs and clean up the end of a round. If you need help doing any of those things, check the description for a link to a complete Blood of the Dead guide playlist containing everything you need to know. For perks for camping, I recommend having Bandolier Bandit, as it will boost your ammo quite a bit allowing you to camp further into the rounds. Stone Cold Stronghold helps with the armor it grants when stationary, but it is optional. Another optional perk to equip is Electric Burst. You can even just run Secret Sauce in more than one slot so you can cycle through perks depending on your playstyle. For both camping and training, I recommend having stamina up for when you have to scramble and train. Past the mid-50s, zombies are insanely quick and you won't even be able to outpace them without it. I also recommend Dying Wish, which essentially gives you a free pass on dying every once in a while. An optional perk to run for training is Quick Revive as it will increase health regen time when getting hit as well as Victorious Tortoise which will block hits from all angles when the shield is equipped. It will also emit a blast that will 9 times out of 10 allow for a narrow escape. Definitely have the shield, I recommend building it close to where you will train, for me that is usually new industries. If I plan on training and going as far in the rounds as possible, I sometimes upgrade the shield to the attuned spectral shield for the increased damage resistance. But when camping for a quick and easy XP farm, I don't bother or I will try to do it later in the rounds, like I said, to avoid the fire sales being in the power up rotation. This spot has been a good camping spot since the good old days of Mamba the Dead, but now with the addition of the Magma Gat, this spot is even better. For this camping strat, you will need to leave the door to the perk machine in Gondo closed. Using mainly the Magma Gat and your special weapon, you can camp here into the 70s and beyond. I like to try and go no farther than here on the hill if possible as Brutus and the dogs will spawn in behind you otherwise. Once you reach the 30s or so, the amount of zombies that spawn will begin to require you fire both shots of the clip. To effectively camp past the 30s, it helps to understand how the Magma Gat ammo works. Each bullet acts as a monkey bomb when fired onto the ground but only for a finite amount of zombies, about half a horde it seems. Once you have more zombies spawning in at once, it takes two rounds on the ground to keep them all occupied. If you shoot a round into a zombie by accident, that round is wasted and the spill off will come at you. I like to fire one here, and then one here. Wait the three or so seconds they last, and fire one here and here on the other side. This allows you room to fire off your next shots. Keep in mind you can fire them onto the walls and it will still be effective. Another thing to keep in mind is if you are too close they will come after you so keep your distance. Spreading the two shots out a bit, having one closer to the center of the alley seems to be more likely to attract them all without any squeezing through on the far side. When your special is full, use it up. The Ragnaroks are great for both camping and training, I like to place them here making sure to get them centered so they are hitting both the entrance on the right and the wall not letting any zombies through. With overkill, I like to just grenade blast the area right in front of the right side entrance until there is barely a sliver left, and then throw out the level 3 nuke attack. This special takes out the most zombies per use, but it is fairly useless once you need to train other than the nuke attack. I much prefer Ragnaroks for panic moments and grabbing shields when training. That said, overkill is much better at allowing you to camp longer, milking every kill possible out of your special attack. Using your monkeys can help save ammo and grab power-ups, getting you through the higher rounds. The Temporal Gift Elixir mixed with Insta-Kill and the King and Country can have you exploding your way through huge chunks of the higher rounds. Just fire it right outside the right side entrance, using one pistol at a time to cover your reloads. The Temporal Gift will also cause power-ups to stick around longer, letting you milk each one to the fullest. Other good elixirs to keep the camping going are Arsenal Accelerator which will speed up your special's charge saving ammo, 
as well as actual ammo elixirs like equipment, alchemical antithesis, and cash back. Keep in anywhere but here on the ready for when you run out of ammo or get backed up into the corner. Do not try and use the gondola as an escape tactic. As of now, the zombies come from the roof thick before you even get up there, leaving you pretty much trapped every time. Hopefully Treyarch patches this spawns here so you can actually get out. On to what to do when camping is no longer an option. The spot most people train is at New Industries near spawn and for good reason. It has a nice large area to train zombies complete with a wall weapon and the trap here has an amazingly short cooldown time and a spot that you can remain undetected for the most part. To use this spot you will need to keep the cheaper front door closest to spawn closed to manage the spawns from that side. The strategy here is to start rounds off with a trap run. When you are here in front of the gas canisters close enough to the trap, the zombies will ignore you being attracted straight into the trap. Do not go any further than I am though, the trap will insta down you. The trap will last approximately 25 seconds. It can be wise to start running a loop a bit before when you see a clear route. Looping here is not bad, but having a full special for escapes and grabbing a new shield can be wise. The trap will cool down quickly though, so you won't need to do many laps before it is ready to roll again. When you activate the trap with a horde behind you, make sure to do another lap or two hugging the edges to allow most of them to be attracted to the trap, otherwise you may get pushed right into the trap yourself when you go to the spot. But that about wraps up this video, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching. PEACE! Playing with fire